Okay, example two, the temperature of a metal rod five meters long is 4x in degrees Celsius at a distance x meters from the end of the rod. What is the average temperature of the rod? So we have a metal rod. You don't have to draw the metal rod to be able to do this. I'm just going to draw it just for the ability to see what's going on. So there's our metal rod. And it's, it's metal. And it's hotter the uh, x meters from the end. So let's say this is the end of the rod here. So this represents zero meters from the end of the rod. And this is five meters from the end of the rod. Okay. The further away from the end of the rod I get, the hotter it gets. So at the end, four times zero is zero degrees Celsius. Over here, four times five is 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, so it's hotter over here. So there's some sort of a heat source. Maybe there's a light bulb here. Get a light bulb. light bulb right here. And the rod is next light bulb. So the light bulb is heating up the rod. There we go. So over here it's hotter and it's metal so it conducts heat so the heat goes through but it, all, all the way over here it doesn't make it all the way there so it's zero degrees Celsius. So that's what's happening. So what they're asking us to do with the average temperature of the rod. So obviously it's 20 degrees here and zero degrees there. All right. And um, 4x is the equation, the f of x that we're looking for. All right. That function represents the temperature of the rod at any position along the rod x. Um, and we want the average temperature of the whole rod. The rod spans a distance of 5 meters, so it begins at 0, ends at 5, so we have an interval. So again, we're trying to find the average uh, value of anything. That's what we need. We need a function, we need an interval. Once we have both those pieces of information, the average temperature, I'm going to say T sub average, for average temperature, is 1 over 5 minus 0, integral of 0 to 5 of 4x dx. So that's going to be 1 fifth. Oops. If I integrate 4x, I'm going to get 4x squared over 2, which is 2x squared. 0 up to 5. Uh, 5 squared is 25 times 2 is 50. 0 squared is 0 times 2 is 0. 1 fifth of 50 is 10 degrees Celsius. If they had a more elaborate function that represented the temperature, let's say the temperature of the rod is uh, x squared plus 4x plus 5 or something like that, all of a sudden now it's going to vary a little bit more differently. So, I mean, it seems like 0 at the end, 20 at the other end, divide those by 2, you get 10. That's just because it's kind of a uniform temperature situation. If it was less uniform, then you wouldn't get that, just the average of the end points. So keep that in mind.